Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we are going to now, so we've already talked about sort of taxonomy in general, like what taxonomy is, the different groups, what the groups mean, scientific names, all those sort of general ideas about the science of taxonomy. What we're going to talk about today is um, sort of a tool that's often used in taxonomy. So we talked about this a little bit yesterday. There are millions of species that scientists have identified and have given scientific names. Um, and new species are discovered every single year. And so when you're trying to identify a species and you're not sure what it is, uh, you can use this tool that's called a dichotomous key to help you. And this is an actual tool used by scientists. I don't know. So the way a dichotomous key works, it's kind of like, um, almost like a choose your own adventure. Do they still make those? Yeah, I used to read when I was a kid. But anyway, what you do is you read, you have this unknown organism that you're trying to identify. You want to know what type of organism it is. And you look at it, you might measure some things about it, and then you follow through a set of questions that leads you to identifying what that living thing is. So here's a very simple example, and I'll show you more complex examples today as well. So this is a dichotomous key. It's called a dichotomous key because the prefix di means two, because each time you have two choices. You read the two choices, you decide which of them applies to your organism, and then you do what it says. So let's take, to begin, this organism in the top right. Of course you know what it is, but if we did not know what it is, we start and we look at it, and then we start at number one, the first set of statements. And you'll see there's one A and one B. Are tentacles present or tentacles absent? present. So we look at the end of the statement. Now we have to go on to another one, statement number two. Are there eight tentacles or more than eight? eight. There's exactly eight. So this is an octopus. So it's identified. If we had no idea what an octopus was, we can still use this key and figure out what it is. You'll notice a couple things though. That when I look at this octopus, um, it's either, or I look at any of these organisms, they fit clearly into one category or the other. Like this couldn't say tentacles present and then one B says um, orange in color because things might be in between those. They're usually sort of kind of opposite statements. So every, it's clear which category you should choose as you're looking at this organism. Let's do another example. This, um, this creature. We go back and we start at one again. Tentacles present or absent? Absent. absent. Now I need to go down to four. Does it have a pair of giant claws? No. no. Does it have a pink body? Yes. Yes? This is a shrimp. So if you have, does anyone like shrimp? Yes. Yeah. Usually you don't see them fully intact. This is what an actual living shrimp looks like. When you get a shrimp in like shrimp cocktail or something, they've removed the head and these legs. All that's left is a tail. Sometimes like when um, we were in Italy, so we, my daughter's got like a fried seafood little cone and it had shrimp, but it, they serve whole shrimp. Or if you order sometimes shrimp in your pasta, it's the whole thing, the head, the yeah. eyes, the legs, yeah. Yeah. all of it. Wait, can you like eat that? Yeah, you can eat it. You, no, you take the shell off. You can like take the head off. You don't eat the shell, but you could like suck the parts out of the, out of the shell. Yes, Jack, you have a question? All right, shh, go ahead. Is there any other kind of teeth we'll be seeing? Yeah, we're going to see a lot of them. Um, no, we're, I'll show, we're going to do some like fictional examples and some real examples as practice. So, all right, let's look at this. Tentacles present 
or absent? Absent. 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 Go to four. Paragine clause? Yes. yes. Crab. Look at this. Tentacles present or absent? Yes. Present. present. Go to two. Eight tentacles or more than eight? More than eight. More than eight. Do the tentacles hang down or they come from the top? Uh, yes, this is an anemone. 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 A sea anemone. 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 Anemone.